Hi, I'm Randy from Nextide. In this video, we'll be taking a quick look at the Maestro workflow module for Drupal 8. The core of the Maestro workflow engine has existed in various forms since 2003. Through many years of innovation and revamping, Nextide released Maestro for Drupal 7 in 2010. And we've helped numerous organizations and businesses automate their business processes with Maestro on Drupal 7. With these significant updates to Drupal 8's core structure, we decided to revamp Maestro for Drupal 8, providing a tighter integration between Maestro and Drupal. For an overview of what Maestro is and what it can do for you, please go to our website at nexttime.ca where you can read about Maestro in detail. So first, let's look at how we create workflow templates. In my demonstration system, I have two workflow templates, and templates are the workflow patterns you define which the Maestro engine will follow, assigning tasks or executing tasks as it progresses from start to finish. Templates are very easy to create, and for those who wish to know Drupal's specifics, templates are stored as configuration entities capable of being exported from the system for import elsewhere. Templates also have the ability to have variables attached for which you're able to set or get information from them in order to augment the process flow. For the actual templates, we have a visual task editor. The visual task editor that comes bundled with Maestro gives the workflow administrators a powerful tool to create business processes. The interface is drag and drop and runs with scalable vector graphics. The workflow template shown on the screen is a simple form approval flow. The user submits a form and the manager must approve it. If the manager does not approve it, the workflow gets sent back to the user for editing, where the process then repeats until such time the manager approves it. Each box that you see is a task. Tasks are executed by a human or by the Maestro engine. Any tasks that are bordered in blue are human executable tasks. The remaining tasks are executed by Maestro's engine. Adding tasks to a flow is, is very simple. Simply click the Add Task button, give the task a unique name, give it a label, and select which type of task you're after and hit the Create Task button. The task editor then dumps the task into your template and you're able to drag and drop that task wherever you see fit. You can then wire the task into the flow by simply drawing lines to it and drawing lines from it to other tasks. Tasks can have different attributes. For example, you can't delete the start task. However, you can delete any other task that exists in the workflow template. When I actually edit the if task, you will notice the editing screen allows me to change the attributes of the task itself. In this case, we're looking at seeing if the last task was successfully executed. And by contrast, if I look at our interactive task, it has a very different editing screen where I can actually tell it which function it'll run, where to return to its presentation, as well as assignment details. Assignments in Maestro are done either by fixed value or by variable. Currently, for this particular instance, this task is assigned to users, two of them in fact, by fixed values of Maestro Manager and Administrator. So as far as users are concerned, when tasks are assigned to them, those tasks will appear in the Maestro Task Console. The task console is a very simple interface for users to interact with their tasks. In this example, we are assigned a manager approval task from our example workflow. When I actually click on the manager request requires approval link, we are presented with a modal form that shows the request and two buttons to either accept or reject the request. So going back to the console for a moment, all of the Maestro tasks will appear in this interface for the user. This is an out-of-the-box implementation of a task console, which has hooks for developers to customize certain elements of it. But you are free to actually create task consoles via views. Going further, as a workflow administrator, Maestro gives you a few views in order to understand what's going on in the system. The Maestro All-in-Production Tasks view shows all the tasks that the system that are not complete. This will include any human as well as machine executing tasks. And at this point, we've only got one task in our engine that has not yet completed. Outstanding tasks is similar. 
However, it shows the breakdown as assigned tasks to humans. And right now, as you see, this one is assigned to Meister Manager, and this one's assigned to Admin. And going even further, a very powerful feature within Maestro is the ability to trace workflows. As you can see in the trace of this open flow, we've gone through a number of iterations over and over and over the approval and the submission. What I'm seeing in the trace is a full breakdown of what's happened in the workflow and the ability to not only delete, but change the status of tasks. And also, edit the workflow variables in the event the variables are the things that are holding up or are in error, causing the workflow to go down routes it shouldn't have. For more information about Maestro, please visit our website at www.nextai.ca. Thank you.